how do we put pressure on on Russia, yeah. which seems to be, you know, a country that is not behaving in a particularly collegial or even rational manner at this point? Yeah. Well, I mean, at, in the beginning, they just said, you know, don't say anything. Don't don't cause. Yeah. In okay. the very, very beginning, they were like, stay silent, you know, keep the noise down. And okay. then and then, you know, when nothing was taking place, then we started ramping up saying things. And then you see Trevor Reed. Trevor Reed says, right. scream yes. to the top of your lungs. Do not right. Leave right. your loved one over there. And he's been through it, so I'm going to follow what he says. Right. He's been through Trevor it. Trevor Reed, of course, is the gentleman who was imprisoned in Russia and was the, uh, they just did a prisoner swap. That's right. Yep. Uh, and he was just, now, Don't does this bring up to you, because something that occurred to me was, you, you mentioned it earlier, don't forget about us. Brittany Griner is still talking about the team. She sort of considers these other prisoners that are there now part of, of her situation. She is a, a leader, even amongst, uh, uh, in her incarceration. But it does, it, it, it triggers in my mind a couple of things. One is, we are not so innocent when it comes to also I imprisoning people. And, and our policies can leave these athletes vulnerable to this kind of thing. And also in this country, we have people imprisoned for marijuana and uh, other infractions. And we talk about this is uh, in, not a justified incarceration. She is a political prisoner. Does it also make you reflect a little bit on our system of justice and, and, what, and how we've taken people's freedom away in, in this country, and they might not have the power of that platform to, to get that result. Yeah, it's hard when that mirror reflects back on you. Boy. <laughs> it, 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 it really yeah. does. And, and you know, we, we, we have a lot of work to do, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of work to do with our, our penal systems and, and how they operate, especially in the communities that I grew up in. Um, so, um, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping this isn't karma. I surely don't. Not, not when it's someone that I really love and I know, mm -hmm. um, you know, but we, we all have work to do and it's, it's on us to keep screaming at the top of our lungs mm -hmm. when injustices are taking place, um, in our neighborhoods, in our country. And, and we need strong people in, in power to, to make sure that, that, that we clean it up. I mean, it's a hard thing because we don't, you don't get to this place and where we are overnight. Systemic racism is, is real, is real in our country. And um, we hope that Brittany coming home will be a feel good story. Brittany, mm -hmm. Paul, you know, any yeah. other prisoner that is being wrongfully detained over in a foreign country. It's much bigger than the WNBA. It's much bigger than the NBA. Coach, is there any lever of power that you believe can be exercised here that could have some effect on, on the Russian government or or <laughs> on the powers of it? Is there is there anything that you can think of or that you've been suggested to that that could bring about some form of, of pressure? Oh, child, I'm 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 a, I'm a <laughs> I don't want to say this, but good lord, I'm gonna say it. Say it. It's probably Trump. Wow. Now, in, in, in what <laughs> regard? Because you feel like he's got the relationship with Putin. I mean, they're buddies. Wow. So he could he's the one who could place a call and go. Now you wonder, is this part of a larger strategy? Yeah. By so Russia. I, right. I don't I, I, I don't know. But wow. You know, wow. I mean, I mean, he's the one that's outwardly. You know, saying what, what a great leader he is. I mean, he's he's been he's he said right. it throughout his old presidency. Uh, I mean, he did he did some things that we would have never done. Um, you know, with Russia for Russia. Yeah, so call your so basically the 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 the, the pitch is this: call your friend, <laughs> call your friend, and and get these prisoners released. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and in exchange, Putin can give him 
uh, the presidency in 2024. So it's, <laughs> nice. it's this is uh, one hand washes the other. But, or or boy, a golf you, course over there in Russia. Or, hey, listen. <laughs> real estate. The, the guy, the former president of the United States is hosting a golf tournament funded by the Saudi government in the shadow of the twin ta- He's hosting it in New Jersey where 9-11 families still have this incredibly raw wound. So it's certainly not beyond him to make that uh, uh, thing. And, and obviously the live tournament is the uh, golf tournament that is competing now with the PGA. The Saudis have bankrolled it with, I don't know, billions and billions yeah. of dollars. But but he's doing that. So Dan, what's did y'all see that plane those those players were on? <laughs> did you they see that? Oh, God. Money, <laughs> wealth, but it, gold. But it shows you when an individual becomes a pawn in a much larger yep. geopolitical game, boy, does that make you feel helpless. And it makes you feel like if something like this can happen to Brittany Griner, what chance do the rest of us have? Or maybe it happened because she's Brittany Griner and they're looking for a high profile uh, target. Yeah, I, I, I just, to, to me, Brittany Griner has probably gone through that airport Hundreds of times. Yes. Hmm. Hundreds of times. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 I don't know if she had it. She pled guilty. I don't know, but Right. Even maybe if she maybe did. it was there before as well. So right. I, you know, it is just the worst possible time. The worst. The worst. You right. know, if in fact she did have it. Mm-hmm. We we right. always um on our show, like John always talks to us about clarity over noise. And I feel like that's always something that uh, we all experience. Like, for instance, the noise in your career is being criticized openly for your team not coming out for the national anthem. And then the clarity is that a part of your pregame ritual is not to be out at a certain time. So they played it before you guys had a chance to even come out. So it's, it's I, it happens in so many different kinds of ways. Mm-hmm. I'm curious of what John coach and, and Takara, like I'm curious what you guys believe is the noise about Britney's situation. And then what's the clarity? Like what's the thing that we're not talking about in regards to the treatment of women, women's sports, and then Brittany Griner specifically. Well, well for, for me, he, here's, here's what I like. Here's what I would like to happen. in, in Brittany's case, I would like, for networks, all the networks to treat this, to treat Britney's situation like they're going to be, they're going to get the first interview when she returns wow. to the States. Right, right. When she gets home. You, you, you treat it a little bit differently when you know you're going to be the first. You're going to get, you know. Treat her like she matters economically to yes. you. Right. Yes, yes, yes. I mean. It's ramping up. It's getting, you know, it's getting more and more um, coverage because there are people on the ground that are that are talking and there are people on the ground that know that know people in the White House. So, you know, it is ramping up to that place. But I mean, she is an American. She I mean, she's 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 an Olympian, two time Olympian. I mean, she is um, someone who who will give you the shirt off of her back. She is the voice for the voiceless. She gives, you know, sneakers to uh, people in need. I mean, she's just like you and I. And I I, I just feel like um, for for some of us, some of us, I post about Brittany every single day. And some of the comments um, that occur under my post are, are, you know, inhumane, like inhumane. Like if, again, that mirror, if that mirror was turned to those people who put those posts out there, you know, they, they've done things in their lives that are far, far, far more, um, treacherous than what Brittany's been through. And they, they're not even, they're not even in that situation, but you can comment on it, um, and say something about, you know, what she's done, maybe a, a, a peaceful protest. Um, right. Right, but certainly right, right. she's not one that's unpatriotic. She's got a she's got a, a father, you know, that served in the military. So it isn't it isn't that. And like, it shouldn't matter. It should yeah. like, you know, but I think you're right. You look at. So listen, she's got identities. She's queer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's a basketball player. You know, she has all these identities that are that go along the cultural fault lines in this country. Mm-hmm. And and she can be used as a political pawn not just in Russia, 
But in America, and you saw, <laughs> uh, uh, there was Kurt Schilling, who is this asshole pitcher who played for the Red Sox, who came out and said, hey, why don't you obey the laws in those countries? And you just want to say, like, be a human being. <laughs> yeah. Be a fucking human being. I, I completely agree with you, John. I think Britney's identity sits on all these pressure points that people consider woke. Yes. She, yes. She is queer. She is black. She is masculine presenting. And I think people see that and I feel like they don't think she's worth protecting. Wow. And that and that bothers me. As it should. And I think a lot of the things that we see online and on social media relate right. specifically to her identity. And right. I cannot believe that. I, I just I just feel like, you know, we 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 need to trade places sometimes and mm -hmm. put your, you know, you know, you know, put the put sh the shoe on the other foot. If this was a loved one, you know, if this was your wife, if this was your child, if this was your, you know, your church member, um, if this was, you know, your neighbor, you know, what, what, what would you do? Like, what would you do? Would you just sit there and allow them to be in that situation or, or would you fight and right. you would do anything? You know, right. I do actually like doing podcasts and interviews for, for Brittany, but that ain't, that's not what I want to, that's not what I want to do and spend my time doing, but right. I know her, I know her heart and I, there isn't anything that I would not do, um, to to bring her home as swiftly as as possible so you know whatever whatever you can do if if it's just post on social media do that if it's pray Bye. do that if it's just give good energy and synergy to bring her home do that but 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 don't be someone that that detracts from that that synergy that must happen in order for her to get home Coach, I really do appreciate you taking the time, and 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 I'm so sorry that that you have to deal with vitriol from from idiots who are going to leave comments on on your things. It's it's a tough time in the world. It is. We are around from Philly, so we can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>